Okay, you guys, this is one of my very best friends, and he's awesome. I respect him and love him to death. This is Mellow underscore 222 or just Mellow 222? Mellow 222. Mellow 222. Yeah. Um, man, it seems, it seems like I've known you freaking forever. I know, but right? But it really it hasn't been, like, that long. Nah, but it hasn't it's been, been too I mean, long. over a year. It's, yeah, yeah, over yeah, a year yeah, like, since, yeah, since, since, first... since things started getting started and everything else, yeah. Yeah. Um, this guy is so awesome. He's extremely talented. Look him up on what? What's what? Do you have a, your favorite platform? Yeah, I'm on everything. Uh, I use Spotify the most, but mm -hmm. you'll find more music on SoundCloud. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so, if you so look more of it's up, on SoundCloud, but you're also on Spotify. Yeah, I'm on I'm on everything. So Apple, all that stuff. I I still get streams and all that. So and you have made a lot of content, and it's all fire. I have <laughs> not heard you. a single thing from you that has not been absolutely fantastic and fire, so, and a lot of great collabs. Yeah. And speaking of collabs, you have little organization yeah you tell everyone yeah that? i got a group called otw where basically i just try and get as many local utah artists to come together and kind of form a community because i feel like a lot of artists try and do it solo but as a group we're more powerful and we have more fans everyone has a different group of fans here and there they're from different places so in order to get the most ears and the most people to come to our shows it seems like having a group would be the best way to do that so absolutely I, no and and it's like having that motivation too to like keep pushing because there's so much i don't want to use the word competition but there's just so many different people out there in the music yeah. scene right now yeah and so um it's hard to kind of break out and break through and i mean just yeah. having having the raw talent isn't enough you also have to have a little bit of luck you have to you have 100%. to have, yeah and so having a network there of people supporting each other and all producing like really great quality content yeah. is just amazing. Um, on it, OTW stands for On The Way. Yeah, On The Way or Out Of This World is another meaning for it. So it's what was the, what was the first one? It wasn't Out Of This um, World the very first one? Yeah, Out Of This World was the very first, but then OTW was already like a phrase that people have been using, which mm -hmm. is On The Way, and it mm -hmm. kind of fit in well with Out Of This World and like you know us all being on the way to the top we're on the way to building something bigger from our music absolutely and and i myself am kind of an informal uh member because even yeah. though i don't i don't perform but um i've been there since like the very start yeah. and i've since been like, a supporter and um just freaking yeah when, when that first got started um yeah i don't know just the, the people the energy everything else yeah. uh, it's, and it's just continued to be amazing and even though like with all the crazy stuff going on in the world like all you have to do is turn on the news these days for real and see, <laughs> and see the insanity yeah. out there um but even through all that like otw is still going strong and um you guys just performed tonight right yeah, How yeah was that? we just we just had a show it went really really good we had some technical difficulties in the middle which made a little bit of a struggle with our set time we went over and we had a hard time getting our last artist their song but overall it went good mm -hmm. we had a we had a good show i i did one song and i feel like i did good on it so it was yeah it was a fun fun show for sure it's a good good crowd too so it was nice and uh a couple of weeks ago because the the first one of these interviews that i did that that got me thinking hmm you know maybe i'll start doing this because it was with uh trevor team mental yeah. and yeah. uh i had a bunch of people say oh wow that's like really cool and so i was like hmm well okay if that turned out well then let's let's just do this because like some of yeah. you really awesome friends and local artists really deserve like a spotlight and you absolutely as much as anyone that i know deserve that deserve to be like to have to have a spotlight because you work your heart out you work harder than anyone that i know yeah honestly i try what, what you i try put your heart and soul into your music yeah and i gotta tell everybody like i love this man like he is he's just he's just amazing and um uh, but we, we went to Trevor's birthday party. Yeah, yeah, that was fun. And um, yeah, so that was just like a, a couple weeks ago. And yeah. uh, and you were talking about like, because there was a lot of people there into like meditation yeah. and into that kind of stuff. Uh, when did you start getting into that? Yeah, I, uh, I've always been like very into like yoga and meditation. At first, it was like in high school, like sophomore year. I started getting into it. 
like it was a random occurrence because it was during like I was playing football and really working on that and I found P90X I started doing that and then the second I did the yoga video like the yoga X like it felt different to me I felt like it had like enhanced my mind and my calmness and so I started like diving more into yoga and meditation at that point and it it really felt like it was changing me like helping me like I have really bad ADHD mm -hmm. and when I started doing yoga I started calming down I didn't need any medications anything like that I could just sit there and do the movements or sit down and meditate and I was able to be calm for the rest of the day and be able to focus more and so that's where it started and then I started diving really deep into it and did a yoga teacher training and got my certification and yeah it just I just realized it was like enhancing my life to to sit there and like calm my mind so yoga and music have both been major factors in terms of like you know like maintaining a good positive like mental health yeah even though in this crazy messed up world it's yeah. hard to do that it's not always an easy task 100%. right <laughs> yeah it's like yeah it helped a lot because i i was struggling with anxiety depression like i was on medications ever since i was little like yeah i've been on adderall like basically since i was like six years old and then mm. in high school it was like i got prescribed xanax and that was like the only way i could Function. manage and function yeah, yeah and mm -hmm. like be able to go to school and be calm and then i realized like once i started the yoga i was weaning off of taking any medications and it was mm -hmm. yeah it was very beneficial to my life like it it helped a lot i think it would help everyone to be honest it's mm -hmm. it's something that we all need in this world especially with technology social media like we yeah. need a calm and a break from that and that's like yeah. a little even if you're only doing it like 10 minutes mm -hmm. it's a really good break from the day and from all the technology all that so. and then w with music too like connecting with people when you do those collaborations with people wouldn't you say that there's a there's a certain bonding that takes place right yeah there's a 100%. certain like, like some some deep friendships can really be forged over that like yeah. hours together in the studio yeah um just spending time you know working together collaborating like i swear that that's um that's one of the best ways really to like yeah. truly connect with someone just spending that time yeah. together and doing something together that's why you know like a lot of people yeah. they like to go fishing with their buddies yeah. and stuff yeah and a lot of times it's not even about the fish yeah it's, it's just, just the conversation on uh, just being there with people and connecting having that time together yeah like spending that time because that's like totally different than like what the world's doing every day it's just like rush 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 hurry yeah. hurry it's all go 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 yeah i think that's yeah. why fishing became popular was because yeah. it, and people might not have even realized why they liked fishing yeah but i think that's why <laughs> yeah 100 <laughs> percent. i actually got into like a little fishing stage yeah. for like a few months and i yeah I don't really know why, but I'm guessing that's that's probably, that's like probably the reason. Back on it, because <laughs> because how awkward would it be to like say to a buddy, "Hey, let's just go sit, let's just go sit together for hours on end, all yeah. day long, right?" <laughs> yeah. But you can get the same effect if you just say, "Let's go fishing together." Yeah. Let's go on a fishing trip, a camping yeah. trip, something like that, you know. And then that gives you that chance to connect, but it also gives you an excuse. <laughs> yeah, it's right? like. That excuse to go like, oh, we'll just go sit together for a few hours. We'll talk about whatever, what's going on in life, and, yeah. and have fun. Try and catch some fish if, if there's any that day. Yeah, which you know, it's kind of funny. Human interaction is so crazy. It's like I was thinking recently about small talk because some people are like, I don't like small talk. It doesn't serve any purpose. But the, small talk isn't about what you're saying. Yeah. It's about it. It's about the communication, the, the message that you're sending, which is, I accept you. Yeah. And then they small talk back and they're saying, I accept you too. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, like it's that message. It's that beginning of a connection saying, hey, we could potentially be friends. We could potentially get to know each other better, yeah. right? I mean, you could talk about the weather and is that is that a full moon up there? That looks like a pretty good... Ooh, it's, it's close. There's like that little There's... corner that's cut yeah. off. but. Okay. Like maybe tomorrow it'll be full. It's get yeah. It, it's there's a little <laughs> bit of a of a full moon. Did, yeah. Can I talk about your memory or ask you about that or is that? Uh, yeah. That, no. That, I, I don't know if that's anything. Anything is 
Is he's on the table. Yeah, yeah, on the table. Yeah, I'm cool. Mello has the most interesting memory, and it's only about one percent of the population that that does that has yeah. this. It's not exactly a photographic memory. It's kind of the opposite. Yeah. <laughs> do, do you want to explain that? It's, so uh, I have aphantasia. So. I never really, like my whole life, I never knew it was a thing until I seen a YouTube video about aphantasia. And so when I th think about people like picturing things, everyone would always say like picture things and see it in your mind. But when I close my eyes or try to picture something, it's just like black, like it's just blank. It's 100% blank. Like I don't, I don't see images or pictures. And I honestly thought that everyone saw like that. Like yeah. my whole life, I thought that was yeah, just normal. Like, like you just kind of think about it, like think about the word mm -hmm. and what you think it looks like. But then I obviously realized that that's actually a thing. Like people can actually see pictures in their head. And unfortunately, I'm not able to. I think that's why words resonate so much with me and lyrics and mm -hmm. writing music because I've never seen pictures and all that I when I picture things I just think and I think of the word all the letters in it mm -hmm. and I just think about my past experiences but I can't ever see anything it's just a thought which also like bleeds into my dreams like I, I don't ever remember dreaming in pictures like I never really? I when I dream I don't see pictures I just wake up remembering what has happened like what I went through I yeah. just remember the experience but it's not a uh, it's not ever like pictures that I've seen. So it's it's a really weird thing like growing up and figuring out, oh, everyone actually does like imagine things like they can see it in their head. So when you wake up from a dream, you can remember the dream, right? Yeah. Does it feel, when you're dreaming, does it feel like there's something real going on? Yeah, it, it feels like it. It feels like I definitely lived through it or like I went through something and I can remember exactly what happened but when I try and pull it up, I never see an image. It's just like, I'm just like, oh, I went through this. I, I was running through the woods and like, I, yeah, I found something, you know, I found some hidden treasure. And it's just like the thought of it. Like I, I remember yeah. that it happened, but I never yeah. see it. You remember how many gold coins there were, but they don't look yeah. gold. <laughs> yeah, there, there's no gold, there's no image, but I remember it happening vividly. Like I there's some dreams like everyone has dreams where they're like that was so real i think it was so real too but i just never see anything like there's no image to go along with it yeah yeah um i think there's kind of a metaphor for life in there in that we never know exactly how someone else is processing something you know like two people yeah. can see the exact same thing happen yeah. or they can have the exact same experience and someone could be it's like i've like i've heard someone talk about something or whatever and and someone could be like wow that person's crazy and i would be like well i think they were sincere then they're like no they're lying or this or that. <laughs> and, and i'd be like i have a totally different take on it you know yeah maybe it's because i'm naive or just want to <laughs> trust people but yeah. uh, which which it may be true in some cases but um <laughs> but it's just kind of crazy how different people's life experiences the way they were raised what they were taught to believe and what how they were taught to interpret things and interpret other people's you know li like things that have happened yeah like, yeah it is it's weird like everyone you got to really think about it like once i once i realized i have aphantasia I, like it made me start thinking even more in depth on like wow everyone really does see things in a different way like the world mm -hmm. could be completely different to the mm -hmm. person right next to you like mm -hmm. they could see colors different like everything could just be different yeah for the person right next to you and you yeah. never know and everyone thinks that they're right <laughs> <laughs> that is very like true <laughs> <laughs> um and it, it's so crazy that's why like whenever there's a controversy or something you always got to get both sides of the story right yeah because um oop, someone was running oh well, okay i'm not sure it looks like something might have went down yeah i'm not sure what happened there but uh okay let's Whew. <laughs> Well, whatever happened. Um, speaking of, speaking of, <laughs> there's I'll some drama you, going on right I'll now. I bet you, if you asked everyone in there what just happened, they'd probably get a different story from everybody. Yeah, everyone's got a different um, story on what just happened right there. Oh my gosh. Well, so uh, okay, but but anyway, anyway, so as far as uh, as far as as this goes. Um, with music, 
because that's a huge part of your life. Do you want to talk about your family and upbringing at all? Um, or yeah, I had an, I, I had a very different upbringing. So I was, I was adopted when I was a baby. My mom was like You're half Brazilian, uh, half Brazilian, half yeah. black. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, my mom was like addicted to drugs when like throughout all my siblings. So I have older siblings that I don't really know. Like I've talked to them, but I don't, I've never met them in person. Mm -hmm. But yeah, she, so she chose to give me up for adoption so that I could have a better life. And somehow my older brother in my adopted family, he like, he found my mom and he, he basically set up the whole process. like and then went to my parents and said this kid needs he needs a family and i don't have a brother like he had four younger sisters and he wanted a brother like that was he wanted a brother his whole life and he never got one well it was like meant to and be kind of like, yeah it seemed like it was not just meant to be and so he yeah he found my mom got the whole process set up and my parents were like okay yeah i think like they prayed about it they're very religious they're mormon like I was more, I grew up Mormon. I'm yeah. not really a part of the church. Yeah. I believe in some type of higher power, but I just, in my life, there's been so many things that have went on that I just don't believe I can pin it to like one, one God or just the definition seems but iffy you, to me, but I believe in a higher power. I'm very you're spiritual. spiritual. Yeah. And so I believe there's something out there and mm -hmm. I believe in good and good and wrong, like mm -hmm. good and evil. I'm, I believe yeah. in all of that, but yeah. Yeah, I just don't know how to pin it to a religion cuz there's so many out there and I Yeah. I would like to go believe in every single one, but Yeah. That's not really. <laughs> well, you know, the way that I look at it is God's ways are higher than our ways. Yeah. And uh, what God tells one person and what God tells another person because we are imperfect and we can't see the whole big picture yeah. we might think that it's all contradictory but you know what god yeah. gives each person what they need yeah for you sure know what i mean yeah and i think only he can judge yeah only he knows everything for sure yeah. i think it was like it was like a god thing like he was very he realized how hard it was for me like with my anxiety and everything there's just so much going on and i couldn't like I had a hard time just like sticking to one thing and believing in that. I wanted yeah. to just like go to everything and mm -hmm. I'm very like intellectual so I'd like to study every religion and study all the texts and yeah. Then like every religion's a little bit like a, against like they're not against each other but they're they, they're they contradictory like to clash and they like to yeah. argue. So I just would like to believe that there is a higher power and I believe that everyone's entitled to their own religion and I think it does help everyone like everyone who believes in a religion it's based on some good like it's it's all based on a good intention and that's the biggest thing I would just like to go off intention and just try and live my life doing doing right by the people around me and the people I meet and that's uh, I feel like that's more important to me in my life and after I die, I feel, I feel like you do. I yeah, like you do. I'm really glad you're in my life. I hope you know that, man. Yeah, I'm glad you're in my life too. Yeah, Thank I you, really man. appreciate you. Yeah, I'm so glad that we've had like you know this connection, and we, we knew each other for a while before we actually met, and um, yeah, and just communicating online and, and yeah. so forth, and talking about OTW, and we had friends of friends, and we would always yeah. talk about like meeting up, and then like yeah. finally it happened back last year at some time, so, yeah. sometime in I don't know, like. Yeah around last fall or summer or something yeah, like it that. Was, yeah. yeah it was uh, and i was able to make it to um your first live performance yeah which i was think it might have been last spring actually mm -hmm. like a yeah i think i think our first performance live here at the loading dock was like last spring and yeah that and was we talked we talked a little bit about off. about like the experience of nervousness right where like yeah people <laughs> will um people will get We'll, we'll, we'll get nervous, but it can turn into you can if you channel that correctly, you yeah. can turn that into just like performing, like amazingly, you know, like enhancing, like taking your performance to the next level. Yeah, for and sure. It's just kind of crazy how that happens because once you get that adrenaline going, and yeah. once that like once you realize right that yeah. that the people are there because they want to see you perform, yeah. and like and the pressure's off, and it's just like you know you're all just there to have a good time. Yeah. No one's expecting perfection. 
And yeah. Like once you once you realize that and you just make it all about like that love, then it just all flows naturally, right? Yeah. Right once it starts, you realize like people aren't worried about your mess ups or like you know if you slip up on some lyrics. If you keep going, then it's you know it's all good vibes. Everyone's just there to have a good time and see the show and you know right once you're on the stage you're right to right about to say the first lyric it's just like oh everything's gone i'm here i'm i'm on stage i'm performing and it's fun you know all the good energy comes and you feel the energy of the crowd and everything ends up going good like every show has gone good you're really nervous right before you walk up on stage you're nervous you're plugging in the music getting it ready and and then you get the mic and it's it's go time from there and it, it all just feels good yeah and then like kind of like your right brain takes over right you know yeah. it's the whole thing you people don't talk about that so much anymore but yeah. like you're probably old enough to like remember yeah. when people talk about yeah there's the right brain and the left brain and yeah yeah the right brain is the one that actually like does things right yeah the left brain is the one that's like always looking for what's wrong <laughs> yeah the left brain overthinks the right brain is just like we're doing this let's go <laughs> it's like let's just jump in and do it right yeah. it's, it's like with with my interviews i don't try and think in advance like and everyone has yeah. gone well like I, I don't try and think in advance like what i'm gonna say or what questions to ask or anything just yeah. have a conversation yeah just let the right brain take over yeah you know, right? sure. <laughs> no I, I like that it's it's nice and even like for this i was a little nervous i was like i, I don't know what i'm gonna say but then you know, it's just, it just us yeah. two having a conversation. We're just, so we're just friends talking. Yeah, it feels very, very natural. So I like, yeah. I like the just un, like not yeah. prepared questions. You know, just talking. Yeah, it's just, just nice. chilling and just like, yeah. absolutely, man. Yeah, I think a lot of people are gonna like this interview. Yeah, um, for sure. Because it's, uh, yeah, and when people look up, look up your name, they'll be able to find out a little bit more about you. Yeah. And stuff. And <laughs> Sure. Be on my YouTube channel. Um, anything else that you want to say, or you want to shout out anything, or I don't know anything. Uh, a shout out OTW because all the artists that I get bringing in, it's it, it filters out a little bit. You know, there's artists that come and go because they want to go do their own thing, and I'm fully okay with that. I don't ever make an artist sign a contract, anything like that. It's just if they want to come perform and you know have that group vibe, then we'll go up there and we'll perform together. And then also with my name, everyone's confused when I say Mellow222. They want to spell it yes. a million different ways because yes. it is spelled weird. It's spelled like the Brazilian way, like Melo. So it's M-E-L-O and then 222, two, two, three twos. Melo222. So, two, two, two. Yeah. Everyone look this guy up. He's amazing. Look me out. Check out my and music. And you, you make a lot of different types of songs, though, right? So not everything's going to be yeah. for everybody. But yeah, there, there is something in there, though, yeah. for everybody. Yeah, there's right. always there will always be one song for someone. So you got to look through my stuff. It's all because the human very psyche different. is complex, and you like go through all of it, all yeah. the different stages and emotions and feels. Yeah. And I love that, and that's what I connect with yeah, so much, man. For sure, I, lo I okay, love that bro. you connect with it. Thank you for yeah. thank you for talking with me, man. Yeah, for love sure, you, bro. Thank you for all interviewing right. me. I love you too. All right, we'll talk to you later. Right. Peace. Bye.